some financial advisor type of person got in touch with me, got a hold of me, and uh, just very hard sell, insisting on selling me uh, life and disability insurance as a, as a financial planning tool. And I kept saying, I'm young and healthy <laughs> in my 20s, don't make that much money yet, and it didn't have any dependents, was still single, and I have life insurance through my company. I didn't understand why this person was so insistent on selling me this product. And I just, I walked away thinking this is just so inappropriate. I never really got any interaction. Um, to the point where I couldn't even remember who my financial advisor was. I knew where my money was, but I didn't actually know who was the person that took care of me. And so, you know, again, through advice from friends, it was like, well, you should expect this. You should expect communication. You should expect a plan. You should expect updates. As I was looking for uh, an advisor, I met with someone who immediately I didn't like. Um, very demeaning, very much I'll tell you how things are going to run, um, didn't take an interest in us, it was more of a flyby uh, kind of, yeah, give, give us your money and you'll be safe with me. I have these, these um, historic kind of returns that I offer on all my portfolio, my clients are happy and it became all about them and less about us. And as a result, we actually said um, that we wouldn't be pursuing that relationship. They feel like, or they felt like, they were more impersonal in nature. They were more around, hey, I have different investment products that I'd be happy to talk to you about. And I would say some of the other um, advisors that had approached me, it's been more about, I have some products for you to take a look at. So I think it's just a very different philosophy. As a result of that early experience, I had a really uh, less than positive impression of the industry, of what financial managers and um, personal wealth managers were uh, motivated to sell only their own products, as opposed to really not being beholden to any particular firm or set of products or uh, set of funds that they could invest in and having the opportunity to pursue investment strategies that are right and customized for each individual. It's very important that when you're sitting down with a team that they're looking at you in the eye and they're looking at you like you're someone that actually has an opinion, actually has a brain in their head and can make decisions. And you want to be able to feel that comfort. And despite your background, despite your level of education in wealth management, you never want to be made to feel like there's a stupid question 